So tonight, more than a dozen Whole Foods employees in Westlake are refusing to work. They say they're protesting after the company would not let them wear masks with the Black Lives Matter message. And this evening, they took it to the streets, and they are not done. Cairo 7's Ryan Sims spoke with them tonight. Ryan? Yeah, hey, hey Monique, uh, these protesters and workers say they will be out here for as long as it takes. They say uh, they simply want to wear masks like this one, but that have Black Lives Matter written on those masks. The kick was out for speaking out. Shoppers at the Westlake Whole Foods were greeted with a very familiar message tonight. Black Lives Matter. A growing chorus given by the very grocery store employees who work here. I work tomorrow at 2.30, 2 and if they ask me to take my mask off, I will immediately leave. Each one of these workers say they were told they could not work unless they followed the Whole Foods dress code. Shame on Whole Foods. This week, they say at least one of their co-workers was forced to walk off the job after he was told he could not wear a Black Lives Matter mask. Yet workers here insist their style has never been an issue before until now. What I'm wearing today, technically, with my band patches on and all, I am at a dress code. And I have worn this before. Never once have they ever said anything. I believe like a lot of my coworkers were very unfairly targeted based off the color of their skin because I've been here for two years. I wear the mask just as much as everyone else. Whole Foods told Cairo 7 News it's simply following company protocol, saying in part, quote, all team members must comply with our longstanding company dress code, which prohibits clothing with visible slogans, messages, logos, or advertising that are not company related. Yet these workers disagree, saying Black Lives Matter is more than just a slogan. When Black Lives Matter is not a political statement, it is just a fact. Black Lives Matter and Black Lives are important right now. They need to be the center of the conversation. Protesters say they'll be back here in front of Whole Foods tomorrow and for as long as it takes for them to wear their Black Lives Matter masks. I am losing pay and I hope that in their, in their process of reparations, they choose to pay me for this time that I had to take out of my job to protest that my life matters. And back live once again, Whole Foods says it has offered that employee, uh, it offered that employee to wear a different mask, one that did ha not have Black Lives Matter on it, but that employee, it says, refused. Whole Foods also added uh, that any employees who do not follow the dress code tomorrow will not be allowed to work. We're live in Seattle tonight. Ryan Sims, Cairo 7 News.